I won't guys. One of our friend asked how to do MIDI mapping by using a MIDI controller. So I thought I'll share with you how to do MIDI mapping. Today I'm going to use Akai APC40 Mark II and Titan Avalanche PC Suit uh, latest version 15.1. If you want to know about latest version 15.1, check out the video. So let's dig in. So before we start guys, I have to tell you in some Avalanche devices, MIDI option is not available. Titan 1 and T1 doesn't have any MIDI options. T2, yes, of course, it has USB MIDI in and out, but it doesn't have any hardware MIDI in or out ports. And Titan Mobile, yes, it has a MIDI in port, uh, but it doesn't have MIDI out. And yes, it works with USB MIDI in and USB MIDI out. Same as Titan Mobile, Quads also have MIDI in port, but it doesn't have a MIDI out port, and as well as USB MIDI and USB out also works. And in Tiger Touch, uh, none Pro, and Pearl Expert Nan Pro does have MIDI in and MIDI out ports, but both doesn't have uh, USB MIDI option, both in or out. And finally, Tiger Touch Pro, Pearl Expert Pro, Tiger Touch 2, Arena, and Sapphire Touch, as well as latest version D9 have uh, MIDI in and out ports, as well as USB in and out also work. So now let's get start creating a MIDI mapping. So guys, first we have to go to trigger menu. For that, we can go to system and triggers. If you're in a console, if you can't see a system button, what you can do is right click above or keep pressing the shift or above button and press disk. Then go to triggers. If you are on, on a latest version of uh, Avalanche 15.1, you can see a system button on top. So go to that and trigger. So in this window, you can see left hand side, it's trigger mappings and right hand side triggers. So there are different trigger types, for example, audio, MIDI, DMX, streaming, ACN, and GPIO. So today we are gonna talk about MIDI mapping. First, what we have to do is create a mapping. So I'll name it as my MIDI mapping. Now let's create a triggers. So you can see there is a plus button on the window. I can press there and add a trigger or in the uh, program menu, you can press add new. So I'll go here, add new. And here you can see there are different type of triggers. It's item or hardware. So I'll show you uh, what's the difference. First, what I'll do is I'll add a hardware, this fader. After you select trigger type hardware, you have to move a fader that you want to trigger. Once you move it, you can see you here, fader playback one. Then press OK. Then you have to select the trigger type. You can see here different trigger types, audio, DMX, GPIO, MIDI, or streaming SCN. For now, we want this MIDI. So I go to MIDI. Then when I move the my MIDI fader, you can see here the MIDI incoming levels. So I'll move it to up and press add. You can see my first uh, playback is created. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the second fader also. And press OK, move the second fader and press add. So now I'll show you the trigger type hardware and item difference. And I'll go add new trigger and press the, it's in trigger type hardware. I'll press the swap button and press OK and press a MIDI button. Okay, and it triggered and I'll press add. And again, I'm gonna change this to trigger type to item and I'll press the swap button. You see it changed to bound effect, bounce effects one. And I'll press okay and I'll press a different MIDI button and I'll press add. We can trigger palettes too. I'll come here and we have to uh, trigger the palettes in item mode. Uh, we can trigger both base. I'll show you, see, when it is in trigger type hardware, you can see it's color touch one, two, three, four, it changes. But when it is in item mode, you can see palette one, palette two, it goes to palettes. So I'll uh, show you in both ways. I'll select first as item, select this, I'll show you again. So in this mode, I'll add, you double tap, press the button and add and you go to palette 2, double press, MIDI button, add. 
third one double tap press add and i'll add the same items in hardware mode too in my down uh, midi buttons double tap okay press one it's okay add okay midi button and add as well as i'm i'll show you how to add a playback so here you can see a playback i'll go again to triggers and add a new trigger i'll trigger it to a new button as hardware press ok add and i'll trigger the same button now as item and press here add okay now i'll exit clear now i'll show you i added the queue here you can see my faders are working this effect and my second fader and the colors you can see here my colors are also triggering first three buttons i triggered as hardware and the second buttons i triggered as item for you to use uh, the uh, seconds as, I, as we do like press three and press a palette then it fades you can't use it in hardware mode so for example if i press three and press a palette it doesn't work but if i press a uh, time and use it in uh, item mode it works so if you want to use your palettes in uh, for like fading using palettes then you have to use it in item mode i'll show you now the playback uh, triggering you see this button i triggered as hardware item for the bounce effects so when i press this it works as a swap button but in this button i mapped to the bounce effects as item so it works as a flash button but there's a difference i'll show you what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this button to down you see i triggered this as a hardware now it's not working because i mapped this button to hardware so that means if i put another effect to that position like playback window one position it will trigger from here but in this button wherever i move this effect it will trigger from this button so guys that's the basic of midi mapping if you have any questions don't hesitate to comment down below i would love to help you so we'll meet again with new knowledge to share keep in touch and keep learning every day god bless you